The Workforce Center offers a lot of opportunity for people that can't find a job after graduating with a college degree. They might be down on their luck, needing to change a career, and might not be financially uh, stable. And by having that assistance to kind of get them kick-started towards a, a career that will take them into retirement, the Workforce Center pays off huge dividends. Who knows if I would have made it through the first year because the first year, you know, it is a struggle. It's kind of a, not only a test of wits and uh, what you really want to embark on, but it's also a test of uh, financial stabilities and survival of finances. And um, with the help of the Pikes Peak Workforce Center and its programs, I was able to have an ease of access, I guess I would say, and I was able to embark on this journey. And here I am a second year, and it was a huge help. Yeah, I heard that, um, that in the program that they would help me get, make it through college, but I didn't really know exactly what that meant initially until I started getting tuition assistance, textbook assistance, they were doing things like giving me gas cards, and when I didn't have a car to drive, they were giving me bus passes so that I could make it down to school. I mean, they, they've got m so many methods to help you out and make sure that you actually get what you need to get to make it back out into the workforce. My goal was always to go to med school and, you know, was it required to have a, a pre-held, pre you know, um, degree such as biology, biochemistry, um, these majors. And, you know, it's very expensive to afford because of their labs and expenses of these majors. They're not like social sciences major, they're very expensive. So I was always worried about it. But by the time I was introduced to workforce, it was uh, easier for me and more relaxed because I knew I can like get some financial help and other than financial help some support there are always like people for me that I can go just talk. They've done so much for me uh, I really wish I could explain everything they've helped me with school they've helped me with groceries they've helped me with transportation they've helped me with networking with people you know you get second chances and even third chances here and that's what I think a lot of people think they don't get I just really want kids to know that there are so many opportunities and so many dreams that they can accomplish, you know, it's just through little groups like this, through the workforce, just finding those opportunities, you know, and being innovative about that. The environment, the culture in Colorado Springs is very different from Denver, and so making that transition I found very, very hard, uh, and that's why I went to the, the Workforce Center. Um, at first I just went to see what kind of resources they had and and use what what I could to 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 better myself and be prepared. The downside with persons like myself is that we pretty I mean from from a, a web standpoint we know what we're talking about and we've been there done that we don't really need somebody to, to walk us through it um, and so it took a little bit more humility to get to the point where I actually got a, a counselor with Michelle Moore and started working with her and the nice thing with working with Michelle is that uh, she told it how it, told me how it was, plain and simple, black and white. This is what it is. This is what you need to be doing. This is how you need to change. And once I was able to check ego at the door, all of that was a lot easier. The nice thing about the Pike Speak Workforce Center is that they don't do it for you. And that was what I really enjoyed is here are all the tools. Now go build the career that you're looking for. And that, that, in, that empowers somebody to get that confidence back that they're looking for to feel like they have self-worth because if you keep getting doors closed in your face, you start to wonder, if, if, is it me? And to go to some place to find out it's not you and this is how you can hone things better. It's not personal, it's just, it's business. Um, those folks there really did a great job at helping me remember that, remembering my worth and that it was okay and that I could keep doing it. Through budget constraints that we have as any startup company faces, uh, we count every single penny. Our resources and my referrals and network uh, community said, James, you gotta check out the workforce center. They've got some great things going to help out small business. So that's when I reached out and developed a great relationship with, with several of the employees that are on their staff. Working with the Pikes Peak Workforce, uh, they have helped us to broaden our range of people that we meet. I came across the family of people that just got to Colorado. They didn't have any uh, resources, didn't have any jobs, they didn't have any housing. They didn't really know what they were going to do. 
As I was giving my spill regarding uh, employment opportunities, one of the people from the household heard me, they told the mother. She came up to me and told me that I was heaven sent, that I was an angel. And she reached out and hugged me and began crying because I offered that family a job opportunity to help their family succeed. I can't say enough great things about the Workforce Center and what they do for our community. They've got quality people that really care about the people coming to the door, that need jobs, that just need a hand up, not a hand out. They really take into account all of the skill levels, the situation, and having worked with the Workforce Center through TANF, through other pro grant programs, they try to connect up those individuals with the right companies. And that's where our relationship has really evolved over time that make us the luckiest county in the state of Colorado.